Today I'm going to show you the key to stopping any kind of wheel routes from the Gun Bunch meta in Madden 24. This is going to do a really good job at playing Bunch in general, and it's going to help you stop the most popular playing Bunch this year, which is going to be the play Verticals. Now this is out of the 46 defensive playbook where we take a look at the Nickel 3-3 and Nickel 3-3 Cub formations. And really important, I really like to recommend putting your safeties and the linebacker position in the Nickel 3-3 and audibling down. For coaching adjustments, the biggest thing we're going to do is we're going to set that zone coverage to match and then we are also in the safety nickelback package which will allow us to create some unique adjustments that are going to significantly help us defend any kind of tight or bunch set that we might face and it just makes the coverages significantly better now if you want to get my entire 4-6 defensive ebook with the nickel 3-3 cub i think that it's the most versatile and dominant defense day one in madden 24 you can get access to that by becoming a patreon member today for just ten dollars the cool part about the Patreon is you get access to all of the Madden ebooks. You get offense, defense ebooks, blitzing ebooks, uh, match coverage ebook, everything uh, for just 10 bucks. All right. So if you want to sign up for that, the link is in the description. But here's the coverage, and it's really simple. Um, this is something that I really like to do, especially at a 3 3 Cub. So you're going to audible down into Tampa 2. The best zones in the game, okay, um, in this game, there's three zones that are really good uh, in Madden. Uh, and, and one of them is a cloud flat. The other one is a vert hook. And the third one is your safeties in outside thirds. Okay. Those three combinations of zones are really, really good. And they can help you create what I call triangles in the pass coverage game. And they're going to help you stop wheel routes. They're going to help you stop a lot of the meta offenses. So what I like to do with this is we're going to, we want to make sure that our, our uh, user is blitzed on this. Um, it's going to change some of the principles within the vertical hooks and allow them to play a little smarter um, in terms of matching and things like that. Then what we want to do is if they have their bunch to the wide side, it's very specific, but if they have their bunch to the wide side, we are going to put the outside cornerback into an outside third. We're going to put the uh, bunch side safety into a middle third, and we're going to put the bunch side, or I'm sorry, the solo side safety into an outside third so you see this is what the play art is going to look like and then we're going to drop the linebacker into that hard flat over there and you can go ahead and crash your defensive line out the beauty of this defense is with the way madden is, is going to be played this year you really need these vertical hooks and these vertical hooks are going to do a really good job you'll see right here this running back wheel is oftentimes going to get dropped because there's so much congestion between that three that uh, triangle coverage we've created over there but another reason why the vertical hooks are important, and if you want to stop the running back a little bit easier, um, another little quick thing that you can do, specifically to bunch, is you could run a man up on that solo wide receiver and then leverage the power of the cloud flat vertical hook combo. You could even put that cloud flat defender into a hard flat. Um, and then what this is going to do, everything else is basically the same, but it, it can help defend the running back wheel route and really other routes as well in the bunch meta. But what you'll also see here to the right side is if I try to throw this wheel to the tight end, the vertical hook is going to take that away consistently. Also, because we have, uh, because we have this, this, um, hard flat defender over here on the bunch side, you're going to have pretty decent, uh, ability to also stop the, the, the straight up wheel to the. Uh, outside bunch receiver so you see here this wheel right here you see how he can kind of lurk underneath it and potentially intercept it uh, against this verticals wheel and I, like I said I think verticals is equipped to be one of the better plays this year it, it really is good um, and it's it's kind of back and, and I, honestly it's probably just as good as it's been in the past but the beauty of this vertical hook is it stops the, the verticals so the only real route that you have to use her on this play is the tight end crossing route, or I'm sorry, the, the slot crossing route, which as you see here, the vert hooks don't do a terrible job of, of using that, but as it kind of develops late into the play, that's where your user is going to need to be. All right, so you have kind of a clear cut responsibility with your user in this defense. Another thing I want to quickly point out, you might ask, why are you running cover three um, to the bunch side and rolling over the top of the solo wide receiver side? The biggest reason why is because the bunch is to the wide side of the field. So with the bunch being to the wide side of the field, what you're going to see right here is if I try to throw the streak corner flat or fade corner flat, like he can kind of get open, but he really does, especially in game, he's not going to really get that consistently. Those outside thirds are going to play pretty decently um, on in terms of getting back just like that. Now, if the ball, let's say that the ball, though, was on the right hash and the bunch was to the short side of the field, 
it's going to change a little bit of what the opponent can do because Madden is based off of a grid system in, in terms of its zone concepts. And I'll show you something really interesting. So again, we're going to go with our standard, uh, our standard defense to the bunch side here, but now we're going to do what I call rolling to the short side. So essentially we're creating a roll concept and we're rolling over the top of that short side defender. And then we're going to leverage a five over three kind of triangular coverage system as well. And what you'll see with this is it's really going to muddy up this corner that a lot of people want to try to throw. Now, the best way to stop that corner completely is to just back that cloud up. It will take that away a little bit better. But you'll also notice real quickly, if I try to go back to that standard um coverage I showed you earlier, because we're to the short side of the field, this um, this corner will always be open. You'll see it right here to the tight end. And I mean, I didn't even have to have a clear out route and it was open, but the, the, the clear out, the clear out with the, with the outside receiver is, is always going to be there for you. So, you know, you can run pretty simple coverage and, and I'll just it with just a basic cover three here. But you'll see, if they try to put a third to the short side, it's always going to get cleared out. It's always going to get cleared out to that sideline. Okay, so you need something like the roll coverage concept, which is why we utilize the safety nickelback package. Another quick thing I want to point out is if they run a running back wheel and they are on the short side of the field, um, this running back wheel will get defended by the vertical hook. You see he matches him well, and he's going to take him up the seam just like that for us perfectly. So... Wide side and short side, it all matters when you're playing defense. We go in depth with this breakdown in the Patreon, in the ebook on this defense. But suffice it to say, what I like to tell people, generally speaking, is you want to cloud the short side and third the wide side. That's the best way to play coverage and mad, in my opinion. So we're going to cloud, in this example here, we're going to cloud that short side. And if you back him up, if you back that cloud flat up, then he will play really good against any kind of short side corner. And you're going to be able to take away some of the most popular sideline flood concepts in Madden. Thank you for watching the video to get my entire force or a three, three cup defensive ebook. Join the Patreon today for just $10. It gets you access to all of my ebooks and updates and schemes, everything for just 10 bucks. The link is in the description down below.